Uh, now we want to interpret cubic functions, but before we can start interpreting cubic functions, it's important to revise a little bit about the parabola. So if you look at this question here, you have uh, x intercept minus 2, y intercept 4, I mean x intercept 4, x intercept minus 2, y intercept minus 16. Now, suppose we say determine the values of determine a, b, and c. Determine a, b, and c. Well, if you look at this whole diagram, you've got two choices. You can find c straight away. c is the y-intercept. So you can see the y-intercept is minus 16, therefore you can say c is equal to minus 16. You're finished with that. But now you want to try and find the values of A and B. Right. So you can do this. There are different ways to do it, but let's say we'll call that 1 and let's call this 2. Let's say you start with the Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. But now you know that this is minus 16. Now, if you look here, you have an ordered pair, and the ordered pair here is actually 0, minus 2. And if you look here, you have an ordered pair which is 0, 4. So if I take 0, minus 2, then this equation will become 0 is equal to a into minus 2 squared using 0, minus 2. If I use this ordered pair, then y is 0. And x is, sorry, sorry, it's supposed to be written the other way, sorry, it's supposed to be written the other way, 2, 0, and that is 4, 0. So y is 0, uh, negative 2. And so using negative 2, 0, y is 0, so you write the 0 there. And x, this is x, this is y. So y is 0, x is negative 2, plus b into negative 2 minus 16. Simplify this and you get 0 is equal to 2 squared, 4, 4a, four minus 2b, minus 16. If I bring that onto this side, I will get minus 4a, minus, uh, plus 2b, is equal to 16. So I've got an equation now with a and b. Right? And on this side it is negative 16. That came here minus 4. That will be plus 2b. That remains the same. Then using the next ordered pair, 4, 0, I will get 0 is equal to a where there is x, I will write 4. 4 squared plus b into 4 minus 16. And simplifying that, I will get 0 is equal to 4 squared, 16a, plus 4b minus 6. Once again, I'll bring the a to the left hand side, minus 16a, plus 4b, sorry, minus 4b, minus 16a, minus 4b is equal to minus 16, is equal to minus 16. Now I've got two unknowns, and I've got two equations, I can solve for a and b, I can solve for a and b. So let me do the solution on that side. So we have minus 4a plus 2b is equal to minus 16, call it equation 1. And then we've got equation 2 which is minus 16a minus 4b is equal to minus 16. Now what I can do is I can multiply the top one by 2. 
If I do that, that will become minus 8a. I'm multiplying by 2. Minus 8a plus 4b is equal to minus 32. I leave the bottom one as it is. Minus 16a minus 4b is equal to minus 16. Then I add this to. I add. When I add it, I get minus 24a. That will give me 0 is equal to minus 48. Then a is equal to minus 48 over minus 24. a is equal to plus 2. So a is equal to plus 2. Now, we have found C, we have found A, we only have to find B. But we know that minus 4A plus 2B is equal to minus 16. So minus 4A plus 2B is equal to minus 16. We know that A is 2, so minus 4 into 2 plus 2B is equal to minus 16. Minus 8 plus 2B is equal to minus 16. 2B is equal to minus 16 plus 8. 2B is equal to minus 8. B is equal to minus 8 over 2. B is equal to minus 4. So we have found A, B, and C. So if you don't understand all this about quadratics, then you will have difficulty in cubic equation functions. So I thought quickly we'd do some revision on quadratics or uh, parabola, and then that gives you the background to do cubic functions. All right, so we found A, B, and C. That was one way. I'm going to redo the same example in another way just now. This was one way of doing it. And I'm going to redo the same example now in another way. You should know all the different ways how to do this example. Right, give you a few seconds to take that down.